So I think one of the greatest challenges that democracies face today is facing intergenerational um, problems, particularly climate change, where there are strong incentives within uh, democratic uh, systems to favor politics that privilege current generations. So economic development is a standard objective of a democratic, go democratic government, um, but that can be in tension with realizing um, responsibilities with respect to, say, reduction of carbon emissions and so on. Related to that is the cooperation between democracies ne necessary in order to make meaningful progress on such matters. Um, so uh, it's not entirely clear to me that we have sufficiently robust uh, forms of democracy in order to challenge, uh, address those challenges in a effective way. And we don't have a lot of time if we're going to, going to do it. So I think that is, uh, so that, that sort of overarching intergenerational environmental challenge is really important. And I think that's related to a, uh, a, another more general challenge that doesn't, isn't limited to the intergenerational case. And that's the, the kind of, um, the deliberative character of our democracies is very poor at the moment. Uh, for, in my opinion, democratic legitimacy and effective democratic politics depends on a good faith exchange of reasons between people who care about evidence, care about facts, care about uh, um, trying to engage with each other in a respectful, tolerant fashion despite their disagreements. And I think that um, at the moment, uh, for all kinds of complicated reasons, uh, the climate for thoughtful, evidence-based uh, exchanges between people about these things such that we get policies and responses to whether it's environmental crises, issues of uh, injustice with respect to the distribution of resources, um, or healthcare policy, all sorts of domains in which we really need to make uh, in decisions collectively that are informed um, we have a very shallow discourse that's dominated by a discourse of anger, of um, uh, and also just manipulation, uh, spin. Uh, I think these are really, really corrosive to uh, democratic politics. And we've seen this reflected, I think, to some degree in declining participation um, by uh, people, particularly young people, in democratic politics. Because understandably, they look at what passes for democratic discourse and see it through a highly cynical perspective. They, they, they see that politicians lie, that democratic politics are sensitive to those who have the deepest pockets, uh, that uh, normal procedures uh, that would be fair are often subverted by powerful interests and so on. So this leads to a, a crisis of legitimacy born out of the lack of confidence that people have that their politicians, that the media, that the, the powerful economic interests are, are being responsive to the democratic will.